Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Jo and this is Super Smash Gaming YT. In today's video I want to do something a little bit different um, to our normal um, hunting videos. So if you have been a long time watcher of the channel you will have known I had an extensive Nintendo Wii collection before but then fell out of love collecting for it and decided to sell the entire collection. I then watched a video from Callum just over a month ago, which is Callum over at Retro Ghetto. If you're not subscribed, then go and check out Callum's channel because he has an awesome channel and he does really good videos and goes on some really awesome adventures. So yeah, definitely go and check out the Retro Ghetto. Um, but yeah, I watched a video from Callum where he did um, a video playing his Nintendo Wii games and I saw him actually play Wario Land and it... Honestly, it, the game just looked absolutely amazing. And from that point on, I was like, oh my God, like I really need to start collecting with a Nintendo Wii again because there are some really awesome titles. So that's what I decided to do. So I have actually only been collecting for the Nintendo Wii again for just over a month. And in that month, I have amassed over 32 games for the Nintendo Wii, which are not filler titles I can say whereas the last time I collected a lot of filler titles this time I am collecting a killer no filler Nintendo Wii collection so what I'm going to do on this video is I am going to show you the games I have collected for the past month and a bit for my Nintendo Wii collection but these will be in no particular order apart from the more expensive games which I will leave until the end of the video so let's start shall we so First game we have is Shrek the Third for Nintendo Wii. Obviously, I don't know why I'm saying Nintendo Wii. You all know it's a Nintendo Wii video. So let's not let's not do Nintendo Wii. Let's just say before I start that all these games are complete with manual. As you know, we are a channel where we collect only games with manuals because that's the way we do it on this channel. So yeah. So let's not say Nintendo Wii anymore because we all know it's a Nintendo Wii collection. So the first game is Shrek the Third. I got this from Cash Converters the other week for a pound, so I'm very happy with that one. So, next one, Sega Superstars Tennis. This is a staple that everyone needs to have in their, in their, uh, have in their Wii collection because it's just a really fun game to have. So, yeah, Sega Superstars Tennis. Next game, Rayman Origins. Not much to say about Rayman. Rayman's just an awesome game, so definitely get yourself some Rayman games because you'll have errors of fun with these. Next game is Destroy All Humans Big Willy Unleashed. Now, this game I have heard mixed um, reviews about. Some people say it's alright, some people say it's not very good. But I will give it a go myself and then once I've played it, I'll let you guys know what I think of the game. Next game is Epic Mickey. Really, really excited for the Epic Mickey rebrush that's coming out on the Nintendo Switch soon, which I will be getting. But yeah, Epic Mickey is an actually really, really good game and I need to get Epic Mickey 2 for the Wii collection. So yeah, Epic Mickey. Next game is House of the Dead 2 and 3 Returns. If you remember when you were a child back in the day, when you used to go to the arcades and you used to shoot the crap out of zombies on the arcade machines, yeah, you definitely need to pick up House of the Dead because it's going to bring back so many memories. So yeah, House of the Dead 2 and 3. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Don't know much about this game, but it's a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle game. It's going to be good, isn't it? So, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Lego Lord of the Rings. It's Lego. Lego is always fun. So, yeah. And it's Lord of the Rings. And I really like Lord of the Rings. Knights. Journey of Dreams. I picked this up from Cash Converters for a pound as well the other week. Um, I'm not sure what this game is about but i know it's going to be fun because it's from sega and sega bring out some awesome games so yeah right the next game is monster hunter try is it yeah it is monster hunter try three um uh, monster hunter is a really good series i do have a monster hunter game on the nintendo switch and i am looking forward to the monster hunter remake that's coming for the switch as well which i'll be buying um but to be honest, I think I want to get the Monster Hunter 3 Troy um, big box. So it comes in a big box with this and it comes with a Nintendo Wii remote, I believe. So yeah, that would be really awesome to add to game streams. So yeah, but at the minute, just a standalone game. But yeah, very happy with that. Put that on to the side. Next one, The Last Airbender. 
I started watching the Last Airbender on the the not the, the new series on Netflix. Um, it's not too bad. I quite enjoy it. But I thought to be honest, because again the because the series come out, I thought why not give this one a go? If it's not very good, then I'll just get rid of it. And it's not anything lost because it wasn't that expensive anyway. Next game is Sonic Unleashed. Obviously, Sonic is amazing. And like I say, like I have said on my previous videos, I am going for a full Sonic collection for the Nintendo Wii. And I am actually only one game away from getting the full set, which is absolutely amazing. So if any of you guys see Sonic, um, I think it's Riders, yeah, Sonic Riders on the Wii and it is in good condition with the manual and everything, please let me know um, which store it's from because I will do, well, I don't even have to do the TX lottery. If you tell me what store it's from, I can order it online and get it from that store. So yeah, and then I can have a full Sonic collection, which will be absolutely awesome. The next game is Tenchu Shadow Assassins. This one just looks really fun. It's just a fighting game and we all love a fighting game. So yeah, Tenchu. The next game I picked up is, picked up? No, sorry, the next game in my collection is Worms A Space Oddity. Obviously, you remember playing Worms back in the day, um, but this one um, is one, I, I didn't really know this one existed, to be honest. I saw it um, in the shop and I was like, Do you know what? I love that. I, I love the artwork on this. It's just so fun. And I thought, for £3, why am I not going to pick this up and add it to the collection? It just looks really awesome. So, yeah, very happy with that one. Next one is Spider-Man 3. Spider-Man 3, yeah. As you know, I am going for a full Spider-Man Spider Spider set on the Nintendo Wii. As you know, because um, Web of Shadows is £80 on the Xbox 360, and I think it's 60 or £65 on the PlayStation 3, whereas I can put it on the Nintendo Wii for just £12. So yeah, I am going for a full Spider-Man Spider set on the Wii, which is going to cost me a lot less, but I can still have fun with it. Next game is Star Wars Force Unleashed. I did pick this up on the PlayStation 3, but I seen it for a, a really good price, and I thought, you know what? I'll have it on both consoles, because, you know what I mean? No, why not? Why not have it on both consoles? Treat yourself. Next game, Spider-Man, Friend or Foe. Next game, Sonic and the Black Knight. This one, I think, is supposed to be the best Sonic game on the Nintendo Wii, if I'm not um, mistaken. But I am really, really, really excited to play all these Sonic games, because I know they're going to be awesome. Next game is also a Sonic game, that is Sonic Colours. And the last Sonic game that I have in my collection at the minute, until I get the last one, is Sonic and the Secret Rings. I think I got this for £3 as well, which is absolutely, it's, honestly, it's a really, really good deal. Oh, actually, two seconds. I need to get a game off the top shelf because I forgot it was there. And I'm back. The game that I forgot to get from the top is a Simpsons game. As you know, I have a Simpsons shelf at the top and I forgot it was there. So yeah, I had to get that because it's, it's part of my Nintendo Wii collection. I got these for an actually a really good price. So I brought this from Retro Mania and I got this for £5, which is actually really, really good because CEX sell this for £10. So I got it for half price. So yeah, very happy to have the Simpsons game for that price. So yeah, that's another one. The next game is... Spiral, Spiral, yeah, The Legend of Spiral, The Eternal Knight. Um, I do have both of the Spiral games that are on the Nintendo Wii, so yeah, I don't, I have actually completed that set now, so I'm really, really happy with that. And I might as well go to the next Spiral game, which is Spiral: Dawn of the Dragon. If you obviously if you've been playing Spiral, then why haven't you played it? Because Spiral is such an awesome franchise. So yeah, and like I said, these games aren't actually that expensive for the Nintendo Wii. So yeah, definitely pick those ones up. So yeah, very happy with that one. Um, let me just have a look what else there is. So we have Donkey Kong Country Returns. Donkey Kong, awesome games. So yeah, you can't really go wrong with those ones. Next up is Crash mind of uh, mutants um yeah very happy to be having the crash games like i say these ones also are very expensive on the xbox 360 so if we can get them on the nintendo wii for a cheaper price 
and still get exactly basically the same gameplay that i'm getting on the 360 then i am going to do it and obviously carrying on with that we have crash of the titans to complete my crash set on the nintendo Wii. the next game is the legend of zelda twilight princess there is a i think there's only one more game actually i need to get for um like to complete my zelda set on the Wii. i think it is skyward sword um yeah i think so i don't think there's anything else i need to get on the Wii for the for zelda set but yeah so twilight princess just need to get skyward sword now um super mario galaxy an absolute staple to have in anyone's nintendo wii collection because super mario galaxy is absolutely it is an absolutely stunning visual and amazing story game as well so yep yeah, super mario galaxy the game that started it off for me collecting nintendo wii again wario land the shape dimension just look at the cover art on that though honestly it's absolutely amazing like it's on it i can't i can't get over it it's just so amazing and Wario Land is absolutely is an absolutely amazing game as well. So definitely, if you don't have Wario, Wario Land for your Nintendo Wii collection, then I would definitely recommend picking this one up because it is, like I say, it's an absolutely epic game. Now we are on to my most expensive Wii titles. Um, there are only three games left. Can you guess what those games are? So. The first one is Kirby's Adventure Wii, which you will have seen on my last video that I picked up from one of my local CEX branches. So yeah, Kirby's Adventure. Honestly, this one, the artwork on this as well is absolutely insane. Like, I love it so much. And this is why it's on display in the game room. The second to last game is Castlevania Judgment. Um, the, honestly, the artwork on a lot of these Wii games are absolutely stunning, like, visually. Like, um, just how awesome is that? um i still got this game for a really good price as well i am really happy with it and it still isn't in stock at cex either so if you ever see a copy of castlevania judgment in the wild at a game store or anywhere else that you can get for cheaper than you would if CEX, cex had it in stock then don't even hesitate in buying it you need to buy it because it's just like say it's not in stock very often at all and it is actually rated really really good so yeah castlevania judgment and then the last game that I have on my um, in my Nintendo Wii collection so far is Muramasa the Demon Blade. Um, so yeah, this is obviously my most expensive um, Nintendo Wii title. This one clocks in at, I think CEX it for £38 and I picked it up for £34. So yeah, this one is my most expensive Nintendo Wii title as, as, of, as of now. Um, obviously that will change in the later like later on down the line because like i said i have actually only been collecting for the nintendo wii for just over a month but this is what i have amassed in the last month of collecting and honestly i don't regret any of it i love picking up games for the nintendo wii and it makes me so happy to collect them um and honestly i can't wait to play them all so yeah i hope you enjoyed this um video it's something a little bit different if you did enjoy this week's video please give the video a big thumbs up if you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing as it really helps me out and it really helps the channel out. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!